Welcome to our video about penguins. These flightless birds are beloved for their adorable appearance and unique behavior. From the icy shores of Antarctica to the warm beaches of South Africa, penguins can be found all over the world. We'll take a closer look at the different types of penguins, their habitats, and how they survive in their environments. Whether you're a penguin enthusiast or just learning about these fascinating creatures for the first time, there's something for everyone in this video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy learning about penguins. First fact. Penguins are very old birds. They have been around for about 60 million years, which is longer than dinosaurs. This means that penguins have been evolving for a very long time and adapting to different environments. Their ancestors were able to fly, but over time, the penguins' wings have become flippers that help them swim more efficiently. This adaptation allowed them to survive in areas with abundant fish and crustaceans, such as the southern hemisphere. 2. Penguins are birds, but they can't fly. Their wings have changed into flippers, which help them swim in the water. The flippers work as paddles to propel them through the water, while the short, dense feathers and blubber provide insulation against the cold. Penguins can swim at high speeds and even dive to depths of up to 550 feet to hunt for food. 3. There are 18 different types of penguins in the world, and they live in many different places, including Antarctica, Africa, Australia, and South America. Each species has its own unique characteristics such as size, habitat, diet, and behavior. For example, emperor penguins are the tallest and heaviest of all penguin species, while Galapagos penguins are the only penguin species that live near the equator. 4. Some penguins are very big, like the emperor penguin. They can be up to 4 feet tall and weigh around 90 pounds, Emperor penguins are the tallest and heaviest of all penguin species, and they can survive in some of the coldest temperatures on Earth. They live in Antarctica, and their dense feathering, blubber and huddling behavior all help them to survive the harsh Antarctic conditions. 5. Some penguins are very small, like the little blue penguin, which is only about 16 inches tall and weighs about 2 pounds. This is the smallest penguin species and it lives mainly in coastal areas of southern Australia and New Zealand. Its small size allows it to be more agile and able to access areas with more fish and crustaceans to feed on, but also more vulnerable to predation. 6. Penguins have special feathers that keep them warm in cold water. They also have a layer of blubber, like fat, under their skin. Penguins' feathers are short, dense, and waterproof, which helps to insulate the birds from the cold water and wind. The blubber layer is an additional layer of insulation, which helps to conserve the bird's body heat. 7. Penguins have very good eyesight, which helps them see fish and other food in the water. They also have a good sense of smell. Penguins' eyes are adapted to see well both in water and on land, and they also have a keen sense of smell that helps them locate fish and krill in the water. 8. There are not very many penguins in the world. Some types of penguins have very few members, like African penguins. African penguins are considered an endangered species, with less than 20,000 individuals remaining in the wild. They are threatened by habitat loss, oil spills, and disease, among other factors. 9. Penguins eat mostly fish, but some also eat squid and krill. They catch their food by swimming in the water. Penguins catch their prey using their sharp beaks and swallow them whole. They have specialized muscles in the jaw and throat that help them swallow food quickly, without choking. 10. Antarctica is the place where most penguins live. Some of the most common types of penguins that live there are Emperor, Adelie, and Gentoo penguins. Antarctica is the coldest, driest, and windiest continent on Earth. 11. Penguins are very good swimmers, but they are not very good at walking on land. This is because their bodies are adapted for swimming and diving in the water, rather than walking on land. 
Penguins' flippers, which are so efficient for swimming, can be clumsy and uncoordinated on land. Additionally, their short legs and webbed feet are not well suited for walking on rocky or uneven terrain. This can make it difficult for them to move around on land, especially on slippery rocks or ice. Some species like Galapagos or African penguins have adapted to spend more time on land, as they have land areas with sand or gravel that allows them a better walking on land. But still, they are not as agile as other terrestrial birds. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and leave a comment. We have more informative and interesting videos about the wonderful world of animals, so be sure to visit our channel for more.